It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Denver Broncos and the Kansas City Chiefs, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. We welcome you to the Heartland, seven miles from downtown Kansas City, GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium for more than a half century, the home of the Kansas City Chiefs. So good to have you with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, we are about set for kickoff. Greg, talking to the coaches all week. We're so curious to see what's going to play out here at the start of this one. And ideally, I think each of these teams is thinking, okay, we think this is how the game's going to unfold. This is our plan. This is how we're going to go attack. And if that's the case, great. But very rarely does that happen, Mike. So it's really the team that makes the best adjustments in real time, in between possessions, in between snaps. The team that adjusts the fastest and the most efficiently, they're the ones that come the end of the game. They tend to have the advantage. Here's the veteran Will Lutz to get us going. And off we go from KC. The dangerous Miko Hardman on the return. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Chiefs come out with the face of the NFL. Patrick Mahomes, two-time regular season MVP, three-time Super Bowl MVP, just in his eighth year, best in the business at the helm for KC, Greg. Mike, we could do an entire broadcast of what makes his game so special and so unique. Not only the wins, the losses, the arm talent, the fun throws, but it's his level of competitive nature. It's his ability that his team is never out. It doesn't matter what's going on at the offensive line, what's going on on the defensive side of the ball. You know that as long as he's lined up under center, as long as he is in your huddle, you have a chance for greatness every single week. And the reality is not every team can say that. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Now, Mahomes. Now, they'll set up the screen for Hunt. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then, really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest and that's what it takes you're not always going to have the perfect play you're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look sometimes players need to make plays and that was a good one there they told us this week they were going to try to come out fast and tell you what that's exactly what they did put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know hey all game long today you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing and even though that ball falls incomplete it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. These edge rushers, they are judged by their sack totals, Mike. They love to rush the passer. But they have responsibilities in the run game as well. Great job here keeping it to no gain. Here's a third and ten. Throwing from the gun. Here's Patrick. That's complete. Who else? It's Kelsey. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. Here's first and ten. They put Kelsey in motion. Now whistles. Play clock at zero, and that'll cost them five. They put Kelsey in motion. 
from the shotgun. It's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. But now a penalty flag comes in late. He might have been caught with his hands in the cookie jar. Here's a run with Hunt. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's second and two. Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. That's made by Smith-Schuster. And they'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design, sometimes it's based on need, but really nice job there by the quarterback. Getting into the, to the back of the end zone. He's got it. DeAndre Hopkins. Touchdown, KC. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. And of course, all scoring plays are reviewed. So replay is going to take a look at this one and make sure it is good for six. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Remember, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear, incontrovertible visual evidence to the contrary. In other words, it's got to be the truth. So ruled a touchdown originally. They didn't find any reason to overturn it, and it stays on the board. Harrison Butker now for the extra point. He's got it, and the Chiefs will take a 7-0 lead. So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. On the return, here comes Marvin Mims. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Broncos led by the rookie, quarterback Bo Nix out of Oregon. The rookie, the last of the quarterbacks taken in the first round, number 12 overall. He's been around, he's 24 years old. But the rookie runs it for the Broncos. I really like this young quarterback, Mike. I think there's a lot of things that he does very well. I mean, the arm talent, it allows you to expand the playbook, his mind. He can process information both quickly and decisively. Pocket presence, impressive as well. He rarely finds himself in situations where he's a sitting duck. Now, can he put all of that together and operate an NFL offense? That's what we want to see here today. And so far, I think he's shown a lot of hope that he can grow into a future franchise quarterback. A big-time play for the Broncos. 38 yards. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. They'll run it for the first time with Javante Williams. He'll move the pile forward. Let's give him a couple. Drew Tranquil up to make the tackle.
Hook him up on a second down and eight. They'll go again with Williams. Good running there. He's got the first down inside the 30. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass, and I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Nix. That's going to be caught. It's Marvin Mims. First time these two have connected this afternoon, and it'll wind up being a first down. So many of these young rookie quarterbacks, they come into difficult situations. We see it year in and year out. They don't have a lot of veteran pieces around them. Maybe their weapons aren't great, but I don't think that's the case for Bo Nix. That is caught back corner of the end zone. Troy Franklin, touchdown Denver. And what a response by this offense. It's not easy taking the field, Mike, for the first time in the game, and you find yourself already down a score. They watch their opponent kind of march down the field and score in the opening possession, and they're able now to go out and square it on up. Allows you to take a deep breath, maybe get a little confidence for your defense to go out and get a stop, and they come over with this extra point. We got ourselves a tie ball game. The kick by Lutz is good. And the Broncos come right back to tie it at seven. Each team one possession, each team a score. 7-7 as they kick it off. Hardman now to return it. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Chiefs offense and the veteran DeAndre Hopkins ready to take over once more. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at 7 as they start this drive first and 10. A carry for Hunt. Oh, he calls up the football. And this is taken in by the defense. And as you can see with that fumble, Mike, it really just goes back to the fundamentals of how they're taught to carry the ball. And they talk about the points of pressure. And the biggest thing really, Mike, is you want the front tip of the ball, the part where your fingers cover, to always be higher than the back tip of the ball. So often you see that front tip go down and it makes it so much easier for that defender to kind of rake it out. So you want pressure against the outside of the ball, both tips, the inside of the ball, and then keep that front point up. And remember now, all turnovers have to be verified by a replay. So they might be taking a look at this one. At issue was the knee or any other body part except the hand down before the ball comes loose. And are the visuals convincing enough to overturn the call on the field? After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the runner was down, and that will not be a fumble. They face second down and seven. On the ground, this is Hunt. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. Two minutes to play. First half. All tied at seven. We'll return to Arrowhead 
after this. Here's a third down and four. Throwing is Mahomes. They'll try to set up the screen here. And he's going to have the first down as he gets out of bounds. And he stopped the clock as well. Well, a little unconventional play call here. You don't traditionally see the screen game used on third down at these shorter down and distances. But in this case, they catch the defense off guard. They time it up well. And the back is able to convert and pick up the first down. First down throw. Mahomes. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. Second down and three. They put Kelsey in motion. Mahomes looking to throw on second down. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. To the air once more, it's Mahomes. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. They put Kelsey in motion. Mahomes now to throw again. The left side into the hands of Hopkins. Now KC going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Gray is the motion man here. Right back to the air for Mahomes. He connects with Gray on that one. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. That last completion is going to go a long way towards at least finishing this two-minute drive, Mike, with some points. You're already in field goal range, so now the idea is continue to work the clock down, take a couple shots at the end zone. You want to get points, ideally a touchdown, but either way, you have the ball last before the end of the second quarter. The Chiefs will use their third and final timeout here as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in half number one. This drive has been methodical, but will they turn it into six points? It is first and goal. That is caught. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board? Because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal, but... Right now, they're on the doorstep of the end zone, and they got to find a way to put that ball across the goal line. It is brought in in the end zone. Xavier Worthy. Touchdown, Kansas City. You know, he spent so much time talking about the heroics of a game-winning drive to end the fourth quarter in two-minute mode. Well, let's talk about a two-minute mode, Mike, at the end of the first half. It might not be in walk-off fashion, but I'll tell you what executing that here going into halftime changes this entire game and Butker on for the extra point he's got it and the Chiefs will move out to a 14 to 7 lead
So, still the matter of six seconds remaining in this half. And the kick's away. The return team going to let that one go. It'll go through the end zone. It's a touchback. They'll come up here first and ten. Back to throw is Nix. He'll let this one go deep down the right sideline. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered. And that is how this first half will come to an end. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our halftime report. We were treated to an excellent first half from the gunslinger, Patrick Mahomes. He fired his guys into the lead with two first-half touchdown passes as they were looking like a well-oiled machine in the first half of the play. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The Broncos offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. They trail now 14-7 as they'll come up for first and 10. play action now it's Nix he's gonna dial up another deep ball and he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on that's incomplete he was looking for Marvin Mims there it's second down well not exactly breaking news here Mike they got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have so even though that ball falls incomplete I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. Good-looking screenplay there, a gain of 11 and a first down. The job of the offensive lineman is the key piece to a successful screenplay. They have to balance this fine line between stopping the defensive lineman for getting to the quarterback too quick, but also... Let that defensive lineman think he's got a free rush at the quarterback. That's the balance and the timing that made this play so successful, and they're able to pick up the first down. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. They'll come to the line now on second and two. Off the play fake, here's Nix. That is going to be caught by the rookie wideout. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Rookie to rookie right there, Mike. And I'll tell you what, they've got some really good young pieces on this roster. Whole lot of extra muscle over there on the left side for this first and 10. They'll go play action with Nix. He's got the tight end, Adam Troutman. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. They'll run. It's Williams. And he's going to get stopped in the backfield. They'll take him down at the three-yard line. Well, it's clear they didn't have a lot of confidence in their ability to generate enough push inside. That's why they decided to attempt this run on the perimeter. But watch the speed and pursuit of this defense to string this ball out. 
and they're able to take him down for a loss. On second down, it's Knicks. Oh, man, wide open. He's got it. Devon Vele. Touchdown, Broncos. Ah, oh, the teamwork was just ideal there. Greg, we don't see practice all week, but we see it pay off in the game. And when you have a wide receiver, Mike, that can operate near the sideline, it just increases the amount of space that quarterback has to work with. He knows that he can put that ball maybe a little bit further away from the defender, knowing he's got the guy on the other end to not only secure the catch, but to keep his feet in bounds for a touchdown. So back to level after the touchdown in time for the kickoff. Now return coming from the seven. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The Chiefs offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. This one, everything we could have hoped for to this point. All even at 14. They'll start this drive with first down. The throw is Mahomes. That's over the middle and caught by Kelsey. They'll work now on second and four. They put Kelsey in motion. And the back judge throws the flag. He looks at the ball, looks at the clock. Clock says zero. That's a delay of game. Still second down. Back to the ground after the penalty. Oh, ho a big play there on second down, but we do have a flag on the field. And that's in an area where usually this play gets erased. Joe Tooney, the all-pro guard, caught that time. Mahomes now to throw on second down. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. Third and long. Patrick to throw. He's got his man. He finds Worthy. Inside the 25. And what an effort after the catch. He goes all the way. 80 yards. Touchdown, Kansas City. Butker to add the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Chiefs have broken the deadlock as they move out to a 21 to 14 lead.
So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. Here's Traymon Smith on the return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. From the shotgun, here's Nix. He'll find his tight end, that's Troutman. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. So, both teams trade touchdowns in that frame as we get through the end of the third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They'll stick to the ground. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. Well, this has been the story of the entire game, Mike, is just how well this defense has played, particularly against the run. There has been nowhere to operate for this offense, and it continued here on this last play. Second down, Knicks. This one to the tight end, Trotman. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. They'll run here. And he will have a Broncos first down. They're able to convert, albeit not by much, but they get it on third and a yard. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge game. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. Nix, now to throw it here on first down. And this ball's going to be incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, like, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. Now, a second down throw for Knicks. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. He's got his man. He finds Sutton. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. They'll run. <laughs> this just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. you got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Now, second and four. Working out of the gun, it's next. And he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. Here we go, first and goal. 
They'll try to run it with Williams. They try to push forward, but only a yard down to the two. The ball a little closer now. It is second and goal. One more time for Williams. And he won't quite get in. Down to the one, setting up third and goal. They'll drop to throw. That's hauled in at the two. And after that completion, they don't have enough to move the chain. So it's all going to come down to this. If they want any opportunity to go down and kick themselves a field goal, they've got to convert here on this fourth down. They need their best play. They'll go for it. It's Williams. And it's a touchdown. They have gotten to within one. And a two-point conversion can give them the lead here in the final minute. So they decide to go for the touchdown. And, Greg, they get rewarded on fourth and goal with the six points. Yeah, I think the safe bet there is you settle for the field goal and you're happy coming off the field with points. But not this play caller. He rolls the dice a little bit. But give credit to the offensive line. They created just enough of a lane for this back to take it in for six. The extra point is good. A big one as we are tied late in this football game. We are in the final minute of what is now a tie game as we are set for the kickoff. Hardman now to return it. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. Patrick Mahomes going to lead the KC offense back out for this next drop. And we show you some of the highlights, and there have been plenty to choose from. Three touchdown passes and some other big-time throws as well. Certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. This is first and ten. Throwing from the gun. Here's Patrick. He'll get this complete to Worthy. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here comes second down. They put Kelsey in motion. Into the hands of Juju. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. From the shotgun, it's Mahomes. That is incomplete, so the task gets more difficult. Time for maybe two plays. That's it. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender, and you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete, but if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. Open man right side is Kelsey. 
And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. First and ten. Mahomes now to throw again. That'll be incomplete. And now we are down to likely just one more play. Great job there defensively separating the man from the ball. And this is the moments of the game where you need your best players to step up. And this guy's showing what he's capable of doing in the game's critical moment. Here we go. One final play. And that's going to be incomplete. They took one last chance here in regulation. It does not pan out. And we are headed to overtime. Four quarters could not determine a winner. We get back underway here in overtime. This returnable from the four. And he is stopped at 25. The drive will begin then. The Chiefs offense ready to see what they can do with this next possession. This one tight throughout, all level at 21, as they'll search for a go-ahead score. From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. They put Kelsey in motion. First and 10 for Mahomes. He connects with Gray on that one. And he's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Second and a yard. Smith Schuster, the man in motion. On second down, Mahomes. That's made by Smith Schuster. And he'll be brought down after a short pickup, but that is enough for a first down. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver. Pick up a first down. Quick throw here, taken by Hopkins. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. We hear the term RPO so often, Mike, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game where it's a lot more prevalent. The linemen cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions or else it's going to lead to a penalty or him holding on to the ball too long. So it's something that teams want to implement, but maybe not quite to the level that we see in the college game. A couple of first downs, and the football's out to the 48-yard line as they come up first and 10. A play fake. Now it's Mahomes. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four, throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and... 
They get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. That is going to be pulled in. He's got it. DeAndre Hopkins. Touchdown, Chiefs. All week, we're going to see this play be run over and over as a highlight of the quarterback and the receiver. But, Mike, the part that people don't give enough credit to, in order to get a downfield shot, you have to have time. And what a great job by the offensive line, allowing the quarterback to be comfortable enough in the pocket. Let those deeper routes develop, be on time and accurate with the ball. And that's why this play is going to be a highlight all week. Let's give the big guys up front some credit. Don't forget about the extra point here. This, an important one. The kick is good. So an ideal start to this overtime. And now it's up to the defense to preserve a seven-point lead. So, thanks to that recent rule change, still the chance to extend this game and match that opening overtime score as they receive the kickoff here. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Broncos' offense about ready to take over once more. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Now a first throw here in overtime. In trouble, and down he goes. This is a great example of the game within the game. You're going to hear the offensive line and the quarterback. They're making what they call a mic declaration. It's not so much that that's who they're responsible for, but it sets the responsibilities of all the protectors. But in this case, the mic was the one who came, so clearly either the running back missed his call or the offensive line didn't do their job because either way, somebody has to have him accounted for and instead, they take the sack. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Now a timeout, Denver. That's their second. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Knicks from the gun. And that pressure too great. He's going to be sacked in the end zone. And that is a safety. So, first, the decision to throw down here, backed up near your own goal line. And the defense gets to the quarterback, sacking him, Greg, in the end zone for a safety. Mike, anytime you're willing to call a pass backed up this deep in your side of the field, you have to trust that your quarterback is going to have a clock in his head to get the ball out of his hand. In this case, he holds on to it too long. The defense is able to get to him in the end zone, and it results in the safety. So this one in the win column for the Chiefs. They had to work for this one. All even through four quarters, able to get the breakthrough in overtime to come away with the victory. So that'll do it for us, for Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. The Chiefs victorious, as we say, so long from Arrowhead.